Hi, YouTube. I want to show you very quickly how to create presentations for your clients. If you have clients that you're helping with creating out a webinar or creating out like a presentation for a five day challenge or creating a, a training, like you know what they're supposed to do and you have the format of it. And, um, and then you want to go from their onboarding form all the way to slides. So this is how we do it. For example, we have clients, they fill out an onboarding form and it looks like this. So we get as much information from the onboarding form as possible, company name, social media, but we also ask them about their clients, point A to point B, be as detailed as possible. Um, and everything like that. What is their client customer journey for themselves? So after they fill it out, we take this and we export out their submission, okay? And then we have this huge document here, 35 page document that goes over what does um, day one look like? What are they saying in day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, four, they six, they seven, they five for their five day challenge, let's say. And so this is like the framework for what they're supposed to say that works for us, that converts, helps them convert. Now, here's where the magic comes in. So um, what we do is we create a prompt using Claude as a project. In the project, I upload the success document, which has the framework, a sample of what day one slides look like in text form, and a presentation of a, um, a like another example of what day one looks like. So I have um, my official day one, an example day one, and the, um, success document framework. And this is how I have the prompt. You are going to create a client's presentation based on the attached content when I give the order create presentation or create slides. I want you to take the success document attached within the project knowledge as a framework, fill it with the correct context, use the day one slides as an example, and then create the content out for the client separating each slide by a visual line. Keep the slide count to about 30 slides for day one. So not too many, it can even be less. Propose the correct image and include an image prompt within the answer you give per slide so that I can easily take the prompt and use a software like beautiful.ai to generate the slides for me based on the text you get. Then take the answer and create a version that can be exported as a text file that will enable beautiful.ai to upload to create Google Slides presentation to create a Google Slides presentation around. Refer to the options trading success five day challenge presentation dash day one project as an example, as well as day one slides in the project knowledge as another example. Then wait one minute then reply with yes to every answer where you ask me if I want to expand on the answer because when it gives you a prompt, it says, do you want to expand? And then expand the answer for three times. So make it expand it three times. Then wait one minute, then follow this prompt below so I can export the file as a .txt file. And the prompt is called now export the above into a .txt file for me. So when I save the instructions and I attach a, um, client's onboarding form, like for example, Fadi, he does options trading, and I click open, then all I do is click on uh, type create presentation, as that is my prompt, and I click enter. And based on the client's onboarding form, it goes and creates the entire day one presentation for the client based on my framework, my template, the 35 page uh, Google document that I've already created. And usually in the past, one of my client success managers would sit there and help figure out um, 
oh, so this is not as helpful because it says, would you like me to continue with the remaining slides? So what I would do, if it does that, and I would say, you asked me if I want to expand on the answer or if I want to, or if you ask me the question, the answer is yes, reply with yes at least three times. So yeah, I don't even want to say, yeah, I want to expand on the answer. So let's try it again. And this is just one way of using Claude.ai project in order to shortcut your team's time. So if your team is helping clients or showing clients how to create their own webinars, how to create presentations, and you understand how it's supposed to be put together for it to successfully convert, um, then you're able to just do this very quickly. It'll create all the text for you and then export the above into a .txt file for me to upload to beautiful. So as you can see, it's not as proficient right now. Um, Give me the above in a .txt file I can export. So now it's creating it. So then it creates it here. So now I have this here is not perfect, but um, now you can download the file as options trading dot text. Save it as a dot text. Now you can go to beautiful dot AI. I've already done an example of this, but what you're going to do is click return to library and then you're going to click create presentation, generate with AI. Now you can upload it as a text file, options training dot text here, and then it'll, and then you can just create the presentation and beautiful.ai will give you something to work with. <laughs> beautiful.ai is not like the best, it's not genius at this, but just think about it. To go from absolutely like, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to present myself um, or I presented myself, but I don't know how to convert to utilizing your current system. And, and then now they know what to say. They know how to say it. They can, now they have a full blown presentation that they can walk a person through, you know? And now they can export that as Google Slides. You can export that as Google Slides to them so that they can do the editing or to a, their graphic designer or to you know, your own team. Isn't that cool? Okay, just wanted to quickly show that because not only does Claude AI projects allow you to shortcut client care time, but think about other things. Um, think about like sales call analysis for the sales team, um, Facebook ads analysis for the marketing team. Um, because with a project, it's tapping into the knowledge base and then it's already creating a prompt. So it knows that it's going to do this each time. And so all you need to do is type in two words and it'll do the rest. Super cool. 